Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's 829-2022. So, um, it wasn't that bad of a day today. I took Max out. Um, I only took him out one time today. I, I was going to go out at 7. I just didn't want to deal with the perps. I just... So, I've been inside all day watching TV and stuff. Um, cooking. I grilled some uh, chicken legs and some corn on the cob and some potatoes and stuff. And so, I was grilled, grilled up a good supper and everything else. And... Um, I did go out to uh, McDonald's. I went out to McDonald's with my sister for coffee. Um, I was going to get breakfast, and then they cut the breakfast off right, right when we were there, you know. Um, but, um, so I went out for coffee with my sister, had a good conversation, and, you know, visited a little bit and stuff. Um, they didn't really have any perps there. I, I was so very surprised. Usually... They have a bunch of perps there, a bunch of kids running around, you know, with their, you know, perps with their kids and everything else. They bring them, they bring their kids and they will perp you. They, they don't care, you know, doing it for money, you know, they don't, they don't care. You know, they, I don't know, they find these people with no jobs and whatever else, so they use them, you know. But there wasn't any perps there. There was maybe one perp, um, like a younger guy, he just... He didn't even order anything. He was, he was just sitting at a table playing on his phone and stuff. Uh, like a teenager. Like he must have been 15, 16 years old. He just came in. He was like wearing his pajama pants. And he didn't even order anything. He just came and sat at a table behind us and was playing on his phone. So he could have been a perp. But um, they really didn't have the perps there. I was really surprised at that. I thought I was going to get perp big time there. But uh, other than that, it wasn't that bad of a day. Um, you know, when you get, when you go through this torture program, when you get tortured, um, you know, things that, you know, people and in, in your pets suffer. You know, because you're, you're, you're in bed all the time, you're being tortured, things get neglected. Um, you know, that's the way it's been with me. Um, you know, I've been tortured the last week, um, to hell, you know, pretty much ever since I went camping and, um, you know, Tanner got neglected a little bit, you know, um, uh, he looks like he lost some weight and stuff. Um, I haven't been keeping kibble in his dish and all this stuff. Um, I put kibble in his dish tonight and he ate about two cups of kibble besides his supper tonight. So, you know, he's been getting neglected a little bit, not not going on walks, you know, and stuff like that. And and it's all because of the, the torture. You know, I've been going through extreme torture, extreme uh, running to the bathroom all the time, uh, making you feel sick, uh, dehydrated, uh, malnourished, you know, and stuff. Um, it really... It takes a lot, out of, a, a lot out of a person when you're being tortured so much. And, um, you know, your pets kind of pay the price for that. And, and people around you kind of pay the price for that. Because you really don't have the energy to uh, do what you're supposed to do. It, it really um, causes uh, distraction. Um, in what you need to do and all that stuff. So I was thinking about Tanner today. You know, he looks like he lost a little weight. And and the poor guy is uh, is uh, hungry, you know. I used to do snacks every night and stuff. We don't have nothing for a snack now. But I gave him some kibble and he ate, he must have ate two cups of kibble uh, besides his supper. So... Um, I'm going to keep that dish full all the time because he's a little, he did gain a little weight before, but he looks like he lost a few pounds. So I'm going to, you know, keep kibble around all the time. And then I, I cook for the dogs too, besides their dog food. So when I cook for these guys, they eat, they eat very well, you guys. I mean, I make brown rice, I make chicken, I'll make hamburger, uh, stew meat, um, uh, sweet potatoes and mixed vegetables and, you know, all mixed up in kind of like a soup type of thing for these guys. And they have that with their supper. So they do eat well, you know, very well. Um, but like I say, he's neglected. He probably needs to eat a little more. Um, I used to do snack for him and I haven't been doing it, you know, and stuff. So, 
you know, if you're, if you're married, you have a kid, and you're going through this, um, you know, things happen where, where you are not taking care of your responsibilities, and it's because you're, you're in bed, you know, you're, you're trying to get, get, catch up on sleep, uh, because you're sleep deprived, and stuff like that, you know, um, it really takes a lot out of you when you're a targeted individual, um, happy TI day, by the way, um, today is TI day, um, I don't know if there's any YouTube videos or anything going on, um, I haven't heard of anything, so, um, I don't know about that, but, uh, happy TI day anyway, um, so, anyway, that's what I'm talking about, it, uh, you know, this targeting, um, it wears on your health, you know, uh, they make you tired all the time, they, they, they make it so you can't, you know, you don't feel like eating a lot of the times, and, and if you have pets, they, they get neglected a little bit, you know, not a lot, but, but a little bit they do, you know, you don't feel like taking them for walks and taking them out and, you know, all this stuff, and, and Tanner's been a little neglected, and I feel bad for that, I feel really bad for that, you know, so, things are going to change. You know, we're going to keep food around all the time. Um, like I say, he eats really well. I give him canned dog food. I pay over $40 a month for canned dog food. And then um, and then I make him food on top of it. Brown rice, chicken, sweet potatoes, mixed, vegetable, mixed, veg, mixed vegetables, and or hamburger, or stew meat, or, you know. These guys really do, they really are spoiled, um, but... Like I say, I haven't spent much time with him lately. Um, he's been hanging out with my relative um, a lot, and uh, and she's been brushing him and, and all this stuff. He goes in for his nails and stuff, and uh, next month here on the eighth, and you know you, the thing, is, the point I'm trying to make is that we have responsibilities that we need to take care of, and it's very difficult when we're being tortured, I don't think regular people understand what we go through. We are the strongest people in the world, you guys. Um, people don't understand what we go through, and we're being tortured, remote and monitored, 24-7. We try to sleep. We're getting manipulated dreams all night long. They wake us up two or three times a night. They won't let us get back to sleep. They won't let us sleep in to catch up on sleep. You know, the stuff we're going through, it wears us out. It wears us out, and we don't have the energy to do what we're supposed to do all the time. I'm not saying it's bad. You know, I'm not I'm not saying my dog's neglected or anything. But, um, you know, but I haven't been, I haven't spent much time with him in the last week because I've been getting tortured. They're making me run to the bathroom. I'm tired all the time. And, um, I'm dehydrated. Um, the Gatorade did help. I gotta get some more Gatorade. Uh, Friday's payday, so maybe I'll get some more. Um, you know, I gotta keep my body up, uh, healthy. You know, eat right and everything else. And, um, it's very difficult because they bring us down. And it, a lot of it is mental, mental manipulation. Um, you know, and they can make us physically t uh, tired all the time. You know, where you don't feel like doing anything. You feel like laying on your bed or watching TV or, you know, you really don't feel like doing anything. And, and the people around you and your pets pay for that, you know. So, I'm just saying for myself, I got to do a better job. Uh, I got to do a better job. Tanner is no way neglected. He's very spoiled. You know, I, I take him up to PetSmart and I get him all kinds of toys. I buy him expensive dog food. Um, you know, I buy him really good dog food. All, you know, so he's not neglected. But lately, the last week, he's kind of been neglected, you know. Uh, we haven't spent much time together. We haven't been going for many walks. I did take him to Dairy Queen, get a pup cup, and I took him for a walk, you know, and stuff. And we're going to take him for a walk this time. Um, we're going to get together with my sister and uh, my relative and we're going to probably all go for a walk, go for a ride and a walk, you know, and stuff. So, um, but he's very spoiled, you guys. I would do anything for that dog. Um, he's my soulmate. He's my soulmate. Like I said on, um, I said on Facebook, on my other Facebook page, 
the other day um, I said I said this dog is my soulmate we have the same personality um, you know we hold a grudge and <laughs> you know and and um, we're kind of shy and all this stuff I really I really in person I am kind of shy you guys um, but uh, you know and we have the same personality um, you know and stuff and he's um, you know he was brought to me by God and and uh, you know, and I have to take care of him, and he's he's my boy, you know, so, um, and they better not touch him, you know, they touch him, I'm going to flip a lid, you know, but anyway, so that's what I'm talking about, I'm rambling, I'm sorry for that, um, I'm just sitting here on the computer, um, I want to get a conversion van when my truck's paid off, it wouldn't be till 2024, um, until I get my credit cards down and my truck paid off, um, but I want to get a van for Tanner, I'm gonna buy him a van, and um, so I can take him camping. I can take him to the beach. I can take him to the park. I can take him. I can do that now, but he gets so nervous driving in that riding in that little truck, you know. So we're gonna get him a van just for him, and um, so we can go camping. Uh, we can go camping again. I, I used to take him camping all the time when I had the other van, you know, and stuff, and um, you know, and stuff. So. Ah, 2024, we're going to get Tanner a van, you know, so that's what we're going to do. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off. I'm rambling. I'm sorry for that. Uh, not much going on, you know. I mean, I'm still kind of going through it. Uh, I'm just sick of the perps, that's all. And I'm sick of get, getting hit and remortared and monitored all day, you know, by by these pedophiles, you know. They have, uh, they really do use real pedophiles on our programs, you guys. Um, I've seen them. Um, they hang around little kids, little boys, and little girls. It doesn't matter if it's a little boy or a little girl. They hang around them. Why does a grown-ass man hang around a little boy? You know, get that. Um, they really do use these people in our programs. Um, uh, I'm sure there's other things they do in these programs. Um, do I think they're going to walk away? You know... This guy that's torturing me right now, he's a violent son of a bitch. He's a violent son of a bitch. Um, and they changed guys more than I changed my underwear, you guys. Um, do I think they're do I think they're walking away? Not necessarily. Um, they're very violent. Um, they're the ones who are gonna pop off if they get let go. They're gonna pop off on someone. They think they're above the law. You know? Do I think these guys are walking away? Not necessarily, you know, um, in Dr. Duncan's book, one of his books, he says there's a bounty on their heads. So I think they're not stopping these guys from doing whatever they want to do. You know, they're not, they're not stopping them, but do I think they're going to say, oh, have a nice life, see you later, your job ended. Um, I don't think they're going to say that. Um, you know, they don't want these people walking around their kids. You know, and stuff. Um, like I say, usually when I ask for these people, they bring them around. They're not bringing them around, you guys. Um, I can think of ten guys. They're not bringing them back around. So I don't know where they are. You know. So something's happening. You know, is there a bounty on their head after they get released? Um, probably. Probably. They disappear somewhere. You know, I'm sure they're not sitting at a country club playing golf, you know, or sitting by the beach with beautiful women, you know. They're somewhere, and they're sure in the hell not here, and they're sure in the hell not in town. So they obviously do something with them when they get released. Um, they're the ticking time bomb, you know, and I don't think they can let them go, you know. Sorry, my nose is just, um, anyway, I'm going to shut up. Um, I'm going to cut this off. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for the comments and all that stuff. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night.